Alright, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jobbers and Goons. Y'all been loving the death battle reviews lately, so I'll go ahead and drop one today. As well as I should have my Kratos Goon video dropping today. Um, smash the like button. Subscribe, all that if you haven't already. Um, this, this latest death battle was um, Tetsuo versus Magneto. And they had the victor being Magneto. I'm going to get into my thoughts on how they scaled it, who I think wins. All that good stuff. Um, if you want to see your favorite character or topic on this channel or my second channel, The Coffee Shop, hit me up on Discord to talk about purchases. Or you can join my server. We talk about fantastic ideas there all the time, which sometimes inspires my videos. So definitely get active as a um, member of the community we got going on here. And thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far as we get closer by the day to 18K. But Magneto vs. Tetsuo wasn't horrible like like I, I i see where they went with their conclusions and whatnot but holy shit did they downplay both of them so we kind of have to get into how both should be scaled and why i say they downplayed terribly now we need to once more if you haven't seen my videos before i kind of assume viewers haven't um we will brush up on their death battle system right they take the they, they supposedly take these characters at their absolute highest peaks and subject them to battle at that point what that that means like when you see the crazy scaling for superman they use and stuff they're using the high ends the super high ends so the problem with that is first of all they never know how to actually quantify the high ends but that that's okay uh, i i do believe in a recent death battle they started using more controversial scaling terms like outer versal so perhaps we will see them slowly get into that realm of scaling but um they lowballed both here so i, I kind of want to discuss where they put them at what they talked about and where under their rules uh which is operating at their highest where both characters should be and who would win at their highest okay so this, this is essentially going to be an analysis of how high they scale. Uh, so, looking at, like, Tetsuo, for example, for AP, they said he could, like, crater a moon. Cool, that was a feat. But, if you if you actually read through it, there is um, other examples. For instance, he observes inside himself and see he has, like, multiple universes powering him inside of him. Um, we've seen... Tetsuo and his power is stated to be beyond the science, which they specifically include um, infinite time, uh, the number infinity itself, like the concept of infinity itself, and boundless space. Those very uh, ideas were specifically mentioned, and it stated like their power is beyond that, him and uh, Akira. And scale scaling off of that, you could easily get him to uni uni plus at his absolute peak which again like i said typically is the death battle rules like that's literally listed as their rule and how they're supposed to operate now if we want to go super safe on the topic and the matter when it comes to tetsuo and his highest ap there are clear and obvious statements of his power being so insane that all energy ever produced put together designed by mankind in history and up to this point i think it would have been 2038 uh all of this ever so we're talking nukes nuke plants all this energy combined in mankind's history that's like a little puff of smoke to the power of tetsuo that's insane think about how many nukes that is. like that's devastating how much energy mankind has produced ever so that is literally like a speck in comparison to tetsuo's power just to give you an idea of it's way bigger than a crater of a moon that's what that's what i'm saying uh and then and then we got to look at the magneto side of things because they really uh dropped the ball on magneto's side too it was pretty bad now for the ap for magneto 
they talked about sun level. I will say this. Uh, let me be on the record here. I do think the scaling they used by the general audience, like casual viewers, I think most of them would agree with the scaling. So on that end, to that measurement, like casual standard, they didn't do that bad this uh, episode. But again, when you have paid researchers and stuff and you set a certain rule like having them at their absolute highest, you just expect a little more research. That's all I'm saying. So um, you get back to the Magneto side. They said like sun level. Well, Magneto, Magneto obviously at his way higher levels, massively beyond that. Like that's absurd. For example, bro has melted Apocalypse. Keep in mind, Apocalypse can casually absor absorb a dimension of energy. He's killed a dark celestial before. He's gone toe to toe with Nimrod who had to clone himself to fight uh, Apocalypse. Nimrod literally has the power to pull up on the Phoenix Force. Um, we've seen literally one like casual backhand uh, like ab nearly kill Thor from Apocalypse. Thor had to pull up with an enchant a better enchanted weapon to even damage Apocalypse. Yet Magneto absolutely melted him. Uh, Magneto has had the power to go against the entire uh, X-Men team at the same time. This would, of course, uh, include Jean Grey. Um, he's capable of holding off the Hulk and characters of that type. Um, casually tore apart Wolverine. Can bend, uh, like, can bend adamantium. All this shit. Has a crazy amount of power. If you look at his high-end scaling, I mean, he's battled with Doctor Doom before. Like, his high-end stuff, easily uni plus multi- to, if you if you get sick with it and you take apocalypse higher too um you would you would you could say out of verse i'm not going with that for magneto but then again if you say at his absolute highest i guess you could say that uh not to mention his power and psyche along with professor x's was enough to make onslaught who's insane so um magneto's power was obviously way undersold and he has scaling much higher now if you compare these two by death battle standards with the new scaling for ap i just gave you who scales higher magneto magneto should wash an ap um unless you go with like hypothetical oh beyond like concepts themselves for um tetsuo but that'd be kind of a reach um it, it was more like he's beyond space and time so be maybe 40 um you, you could maybe argue multiversal, but again, um, if you get as liberal with that side for Tetsuo, I'm a firm believer when I scale that if I get liberal with one character scaling, I got to be liberal with the others or else it's just not fair. Magneto would get the outer scaling at that point, scaling to high end apocalypse and stuff. So that would still help him outstrip and power Tetsuo. So Magneto would have the power edge by a massive advantage, and their power at high ends are way above what uh, Death Battle gave. Now for speed, um, obviously Death Battle is just not going to use higher uh, forms of speed, but I do kind of want to give some higher arguments for both characters. Magneto obviously has scaling and has battled characters who can battle Thor, Silver Surfer. Obviously Magneto's reacted to Thor and battled him. Um... These characters can travel infinite realms uh, in moments. They can travel across the universe in just a thought. They can travel through uh, time alone uh, with like pure speed alone. They can move in realms beyond time and space. The point is they have plenty of higher tier scaling and Magneto easily scales to them and combat speed. So yeah, it's not some FTL shit. Magneto would at his high end for speed scaling be in the higher metas of speed. We look over at Tetsuo, it's a little harder to scale his speed that high, but then again, we do see characters like Akira. He can look uh, through multiple timelines um, and like pull Tetsuo out of it instantly. Uh, and, and whereas we know Tetsuo can battle Akira. And then, so that, I mean, just going through time alone instantly and pulling through multiple timelines, uh, that's pretty damn impressive and does give some credence to higher speed arguments. Um, but I, I think you can kind of tell besides that, 
Magneto probably does have the safer speed scaling, so I would say speed also, even at their high ends with higher speed arguments, favors uh, Magneto. Um, overall, I think the it, it was a fun battle. Um, it's a fun topic to talk about. I think a uh, narrative battle might be a little more interesting uh, between these two. That is where you just look at how they're written um, and how you think it would be written if they fought instead of just using feats uh, like a standard versus battle. But again, if we use death battles, high end uh, rules, these characters are way higher than what they were presented at. Magneto does, in my opinion, still win. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Keep it civil. I hope you guys subscribe and hang around. And make sure to check out my second channel, The Coffee Shop, where I do a bunch of scaling and battles and all that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.